is we're going to talk about these goddamn UFOs. Y'all know this is one of my little things I like to do. This is one of my pleasures, right? So we got a close encounter, a mind-blowing UFO footage, bizarrely shaped alien craft that was hovering above a shocked family. This it happened um this happened yesterday actually it's so much for me to get to because I, i've been suspended for a week so i got i'm behind like a motherfucker but anyway it says a close encounter mind-blowing ufo footage shows bizarrely shaped alien craft hovering above a shocked family i'm gonna show the video then we're gonna talk about this shit well first let me talk about it, it says um every footage shows a mid-blowing movement a bizarrely shaped alien craft hovers over a shocked family in texas it says the oddball clip features an object with two thin sides and a round top floating in the sky in Denton County, Texas. I've never been to Denton County, but some as I know I got a lot of people come through the stream on YouTube. So if y'all know Denton County, then you know what the fuck I'm talking about. It says, according to YouTube user Eagle Run 23, the video was filmed on June 4th uh, at 9 p.m. local time says it is a description posted on the YouTube. In the description posted on YouTube, he wrote, it's an unidentified flying object to me because I don't know what the hell it is. We were sitting by the fire. Little ones had a bubbles, the bubbles going. He said, any idea? He said, maybe it's defla deflated balloons of some sort. It almost looks like a parachute, somebody else said. It says, on the clip, a man can be heard saying, no idea what it is. It's going down or is it going up? And then you can hear a child saying, the object looks like it's a spaceship. Um, this shit looks crazy, though. Um, and then you can hear a kid also saying that the, the object looks like it's coming down, right? So I'm going to show you this shit. I'm going to show you this video. And then y'all going to tell me what the hell you think. What does this look like to you? I don't, I don't really, I don't. I'm gonna just tell you, spoiler alert. To me, I don't know if it's no goddamn. This don't look like no spaceship, but I really don't know what the hell it is when I looked at this damn video yesterday. So is it really compelling to me? I'm going to say to me it's not. But again, I really don't know what the hell it is when I looked at this video yesterday. So, um... All right, now hold on, man. We gonna run. We gonna look at this shit one more time. We gonna look at it one more time. Let's see what the hell is going on, man. This is what the shit I be talking about.
So you tell me what the hell, what the hell was that? Huh? Can you please explain to me that what that was? Because okay, I don't it didn't look like no damn parachute. Okay, I'm gonna show you some other shit. I don't know if you remember last month, I also had a uh video from Indonesia. Well, about two weeks ago, I had a video from Indonesia, the last UFO sighting I did. And whatever was in Indonesia, it came from outer space and it fell into the damn ocean. I don't know if y'all remember that video that I did, but it looked very similar to the same shit that's in Texas that was in the Indonesian ocean. Let me see if I can pull that video up. But all the shit about his parachutes and weather balloons, it ain't no goddamn parachute and weather balloon. And, other, and also, like I say, um, that shit that happened in Indonesia was also crazy. Okay, here, I got it right here. Now, that happened in Texas yesterday. This was reported yesterday. It happened on the 4th, but the report came out yesterday. Now, at the same time, I'm going to show you this other report that actually uh, happened in Texas. I mean, that actually happened in Indonesia. And it looks very similar to that same goddamn spaceship that was in Texas. All right, now this is the one in Indonesia. Now this was a couple weeks back. This is something that was in Indonesia that fell into the ocean. Okay, so now what the hell you think? Now to me, those two things look very goddamn similar. One happened in Texas a few days ago. The other one happened in Indonesia a few weeks ago. And though you couldn't see the space between the one in Indonesia, you also didn't have, it, it, the camera that they were using wasn't as clear. Of course, Indonesia is not America, so you know, the technology is probably not gonna be the same. But you can see that shit that was falling into the ocean in Indonesia, was pretty much shaped just like the shit that you're seeing in Texas. Now, what's the odds of that? What's the odds of those two things happening in, a, uh, you know, separate parts of the goddamn globe on the other side of the world and be that similar to damn near probably being the same type of uh, UFO? So I'm not sure what the hell it was, but to me, that didn't look like no goddamn weather balloon What everybody keep trying to talk about. That's the main thing you hear with these people is that uh, these are weather balloons, weather balloons. That shit didn't look like no weather balloon to me. Now, if you thought that that shit was crazy, I'm about to show you some other shit that's about to downright blow your goddamn mind. This here, this here is a Google Earth image. Okay, this came out today, like earlier today. So I know you ain't seen it nowhere else because it ain't in no goddamn news, ain't report on it yet. But this is a Google Earth image of an unidentified object. Now, what it says is, it says Google Earth fanatics are convinced that they have spotted a giant UFO surrounded by tanks in the in Death Valley. It says images of the mysterious site in Lone Pine Unified School District in California appears to have shown abandoned boat alongside a 340 foot teardrop shaped object. It says baffled by their discovery, Twitter users CryptoSpawn claimed that it could be a landing destination for some large type of craft. It says uh, the plane wreckage appears to be just under nine miles away from the site, prompting CryptoSpawn to ask, did something get too close and get shot down? They also point out that there appears to be a number of military tanks scattered around the center the central feature, as well as bulldozers. There are several tanks that appear to be guarding the area, the Twitter user wrote. They added, more weird stuff in the area. Looks like a skeleton of a plane and maybe some wreckage. There's a lot of shit going on here, so I'm gonna show you all the pictures and I'm about to show you the video. And again, all this shit about this shit being weather balloons and all this crazy shit, it just, it don't make no sense to me. And it's just not what I would call a uh, logical. So I don't think that it's no goddamn weather balloon. But hey, I'm gonna show you the video. Okay, so what the f is that? Now, uh, what the hell is that? That's in Cali right now, in Death Valley. And you can see where it looks like there's little tanks scattered around the object. But this is the object, this teardrop. Man, that ain't a goddamn UFO. Come on, man. What the f what is that?
Huh, what is that? Can you explain that to me? I know your ass can't explain that to me. Of course you can. Okay, you can't explain this to me, nor can you explain this to me. So there's a plane. I guess that's the plane they said it looks like that was shot down in the area that might have been flowing over it. Yeah, I don't know what the hell that is, but what I'm going to tell you what it ain't. That ain't no goddamn jet that we got. That ain't no mother type of um, technology that we hold, that's what you call some unidentified, unexplained shit. Now, I say all that and the reason I'm doing this is because I think we're getting real close. The United States government and the Pentagon is supposed to be doing dropping a UFO report that's going to basically have details about what the hell's going on out here with these um, UAPs and UFOs. But I would just go out on a limb and tell you right now, from my perspective as a, a, a observer of this, that that ain't no goddamn weather balloon. That ain't no goddamn uh, parachute. That them shits ain't. That ain't Ain't nothing that I've ever seen. I mean, it, I'm not saying that it's an alien, but in my 30 plus years of being on this earth, that ain't nothing that I've ever seen um, that's a flying object that's normal, right? I've never seen anything that the teardrop shaped shit that was in the sand over there in Cali. I've never seen anything that big or shaped like that that can fly. That shit that was going into the Indonesian Ocean, the Tic Tacs, the Kalal, the Superman looking flying UFO shits. Uh, Whatever these rectangle shits were, I've never seen no shit like that being able to fly. And all reports be saying they don't make no sound. They move 52, 60,000 miles an hour. You can see them one second, and in a blink of an eye, they may be somewhere else, almost like they teleport themselves. Right. You got reports of these shits being able to go in and out of the ocean. Now they have reports saying that they actually think there might be bases, their bases for these damn objects, whatever they are, might actually be in our oceans, which we know over 80% of the oceans, 85% of the oceans are undiscovered. So ain't no telling what the hell's down there. I, my whole theory has always been from day one that I don't think these things are coming from outer space or they're going to be alien because alien would mean they're not from this planet and other extraterrestrial would mean they're from another planet. So I don't think that that's the case. I got a good feeling that these motherfuckers have been here with us this whole time and they are in them goddamn oceans where we can't get to, right? We probably know more about the goddamn moon and Mars than we do about our own damn planet because nobody has explored the ocean. And um, my whole thing about the UFO situation is that they're actually in the water, like uh, some damn Aquaman type shit, Lost City of Atlantis type shit, right? They're actually... Uh, intelligent creature. And then, then I said, what if you know how we got dogs and cats and shit and that's our pets? What if the dolphins and the whales and shit is they pets? <laughs> Think about that shit. Think about how smart dogs, almost when you meet a dolphin every time you see kick, 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 kick. When you see a damn dolphin or any type of, it's almost like they've been trained. It's almost like the dolphins are well trained. They're so, but maybe the dolphins ain't that goddamn intelligent, but just like a dog may not be that intelligent, but you could train it to do shit. Because for some reason, when you go into the wild, even when you go into the oceans in the wild and you run into schools of dolphins, they're like playing with you. They're trained. They're like fucking trained animals. Now, what? And whales are also, they keep saying whales are so smart. I don't necessarily know if they're smart, but it seems like they're trained. They don't really, you can swim with them. They'll play with you. They come right up to you as if they know who you are and what type of creature you are. They're not scared most of the time. Like, why would dolphins and whales and these type of animals that we consider to be intelligent, just like we have our pets like dogs and cats, why would they be? No other animal that I know does does that. No other animal feels comfortable with being around a human being as if they seen maybe something similar. So maybe these mermaid mermen and mermaid type creatures live under the sea. And maybe dolphins and whales and shit like that that we can just think about how intelligent they would have to be if the fucking dolphins is their pets because you know they say dolphins is probably almost intelligent as human they're one of the most intelligent creatures on earth right dolphins and whales and shit they're massively intelligent so think about how intelligent whatever made them things their pets have to be like we made dogs our pets we make monkeys our pets and apes our pets and different animals our pets some animals we can't make pets but the, pet, the pets we can domesticate we turn them into pets and we think that our dog is intelligent well, a goddamn dolphin is a thousand times smarter than a dog and more intelligent than a dog. So you just could imagine whatever life force is down there that's able to turn these guys. Now, I'm just saying, if my theory is right, whatever's turning the dolphins and the whales and the goddamn pets, you got to goddamn think how smart they is. So that's what I think. I think, goddamn, this shit that we keep talking about is UFOs and coming from other planets. I think that the goddamn UFOs is actually under the sea in the water 
And I think that them damn dolphins and whales and shit like that that are very inactive with humans. They like to interact with humans and they're so intelligent and we're so amazed. Like you could go, you could literally go to the ocean tomorrow and swim with the goddamn dolphins and they'll swim with you almost as if they're trained. They'll swim with you. They'll take food for you. They know how to play with you. They're goddamn. <laughs> Right, they know all this shit, all these little tricks, and we'd be like, "Oh, look at the cute! They so smart! Look at the cute dolphins! Them motherfuckers ain't no goddamn smart! Them damn things and them aliens or whatever the hell them things is under that water pets, just like on Aquaman, you know they be riding the dolphins and shit. That's they pets. <laughs> you laughing now, but you go see. Watch one of the mother story right now. How many things have I been right about since I've been doing this shit? I'm almost a hundred, four hundred. It take time for these mother." slow motherfuckers to catch up. But why do they come out and start saying that these aliens are coming from underground, under the goddamn water, they're not coming from outer space, and why should they goddamn go down there snooping, and that's when all hell gonna break loose, because I think they starting to already come up, because we polluting the oceans, and I'm gonna do a crazy-ass story here in the next couple days about an oil spill that's been going on for the past 10 to 15 years, and that shit is spilling hundreds of millions of gallons of oil in the goddamn water as we speak on a goddamn monthly basis. Uh, thousands of gallons, I mean. Thousands of gallons a day. This oil spill has been going on. I just found out about the shit. So I'm about to do a story on that shit maybe tomorrow. But there's been an oil spill in the ocean that's been going on for like 10 fucking years plus. And every day it spills thousands and they can't stop it. And they've just been doing it and nobody's talking about it. So I think that all these motherfucking, they're running, we're running out of fish. We're running out of marine mammals that we can catch. And I think that whatever uh, bringing these things to the surface, I think there's about to be a clash because I think that we are fucking up there. We have fucked up their environment to the point that where they're like, let's see what the fuck's going on up there. And these motherfuckers are fucking up. So that's my whole goddamn theory. Now, I could be wrong or I could be right. But my theory is I'm not looking up no more. Under the sea. Under the sea. Oh, how glad it would be if I could just see what this underdust is. Shout out to Sebastian. I don't know if y'all know Sebastian the Crab from The Little Mermaid, but the dude they used to do the Sebastian the Crab voice died uh, uh, last week, two weeks ago. The black guy who was Sebastian the Crab, he died. I don't know how I know this shit. It's random shit that I know about, but just rest in peace to Sebastian the Crab and, and um, blessings, peace, and love to his family. But anyway, I'm sure that the mother is under that water and i'm gonna get to the bottom of it because everybody else is looking up and you gotta know when everybody else is doing something usually the goddamn answer is gonna be in the opposite direction you looking up and i'm starting to look down and i'm gonna guarantee you now i haven't heard this shit on ain't nobody saying this shit so i don't want nobody to say oh you heard this head nigga this is you hearing the head first watch when you start to hear that these motherfuckers Start talking about they coming out of the water. Ain't no shit coming from no hundred million thousand galaxies away, goddammit. Them motherfuckers is right here under the sea. Like I said, over 80% of our oceans have been unexplored. We have no fucking idea what is in the waters. While Elon Musk and dumbass Jeff Bezos are trying to get into space and explore what the hell's going on on Mars and Jupiter and Saturn and shit. We are here on Earth and we have no idea what the fuck is going on on our own planet. Most of the Earth is made up of water and most of the water on Earth has been unexplored and undiscovered. We have no fucking idea again what is in our ocean. So we, and that is what most of the old, most of the earth is made of. So you would think after all this time of being human beings and being on the earth, we would at some point took the time to explore our own goddamn planet and find out what is actually going on with what makes up the majority of our planet, which is water. But now we have declined and neglected to pay any attention to that shit for the thousands of years we've been on this goddamn planet. And now we're running out of water because we don't know how to sustain that ecosystem because we haven't spent enough time to try to learn about it. But a, a common sense should tell any goddamn dummy that, no, you don't want to study land and do all this archaeology and you looking at all these dumbass caves and, ooh, this, this used to be underwater and now it's not. But the reason everything used to be underwater, motherfuckers, because the earth is made up of mostly water. And at one point, it probably was all water. So that would just mean common sense to me that if we're going to explore any goddamn thing, we should explore the water because that's the majority of the earth. Plus, that's the most important thing on the earth. But it's the least, the most important thing on earth is the least, is the least thing we know about. What type of sense that make? I'm telling you, boy, humans are the dumbest motherfuckers in the world. And that's why these creatures are probably coming up now like these stupid motherfuckers. 
these dumbass chimps, right? The shit that the earth is made up the most of, the most important thing on God's green earth is goddamn water. That's the most important thing. You can go 10 times as long without food, but you can only go three days without water. Your ass is dead. So the most important thing to sustain life and the most important thing we have as a commodity on the whole earth is H2O. And it is literally the last thing we study and the thing we know the least about. And now you got these creatures or whatever the hell these things are, I believe coming and starting to reveal themselves because they on some got on the basically they on like hey y'all are what the hell are y'all up there doing <laughs> right like we can't even they can't even be comfortable no more now again this is a theory i could be wrong but i'm gonna i just got a feeling that it ain't gonna be coming from no outer space whatever them goddamn creatures are whatever them ufos are it's because they're already here. They've been hiding in plain sight. Man, if you want to hide from a motherfucker, everybody know you want to hide from a motherfucker, you go right in plain sight. Because that's the last place they're going to look. Right out, you can be right under the motherfucking nose and be there forever. And you didn't never know. So I got a good feeling that whatever them things are, flying these UFOs are uh, actually on Earth. <laughs>